everyone good afternoon hello my lovelies you are always here on time hello mum hiya lozzy it's so good to see you kenny shannon or sha <laughs> darla daniela becky hello my lovelies okay so this is the final part that i will be doing on this because i've pretty much covered everything what i want to cover as well is how to get the trees darker as you're going along and i'm still not sure about the background i might just black it out so if you're going to follow me just black it out if in doubt everything else is going to be okay and then we'll do we've already got a glow around the moon so if you do black acrylic paint you can bring that glow out with some white pencil lozzy i've missed you it's been a long time but mind you i have been away myself because of mum mum said hello natalie hello my love yes i've got it kenny i want to go through it hello pamela it came today it came today hello boots and i also want to show you these so i'm going to come down a little bit so connie rcb connie she emailed me yesterday and she said the post is all over the place so i want to send you these by email and i'm like oh bless you so how amazing so she drew these and then tangled these herself so what i'm going to do is print them on proper card i just want i had to show you um i'm going to print this on like a proper card stock and then i want to put like a frame around it and put it in my book of like things i've got from people around the world cards um that kind of thing but this is she just amazing i mean she's so humble when you tell her that she's like no i'm not but she really is look how adorable they are hello green hello everyone coming on in welcome hi charlotte hello suzanne aren't they beautiful so i know connie doesn't like she's like me compliments don't come easy but aren't they connie is so lovely right she is just amazing like i don't know how she does it but she has her hands dipped in practically every single craft and manages to do them hi helena hi tracy aren't they just hello cat where's your purple heart <laughs> i demand my purple heart <laughs> hi ashley connie did these kenny so i printed them off look at them so she's entangled them and everything and she did the whole design aren't they beautiful and but you know me and budgies so this one's got more on the face in my left hand and this one on my right has less on the face but different patterns on the body i know so it's not when connie comes in let me know aren't they gorgeous so amazing there we go got purple hearts <laughs> <laughs> and i'll do a quick flip through okay so today i received um i ordered this on amazon japan last week and i received it today now it is a little bit smaller than her other book so her other books is the same size as the kirby and you'll see but i actually prefer that this one's a bit smaller um i really love it the quality i love the, the open i love these anyway she's always got like a jacket hasn't she and this is gorgeous as i said there's 25 images if you did get the animal wonderland special from coloring heaven there is um hi shay hi everyone coming on in if i've missed anyone i am so sorry but good afternoon from my end wherever you are good day <laughs> um i want to do a quick flip through and then we're going to get back to our our beast and i'm not probably i did three hours and it did kill me i'm gonna to have to cut it a little bit shorter than that today but i enjoyed my time the other day so much that i is shy sorry i keep getting it wrong do you know why when we have it here i'm gonna write this down because it has to be in my face to know this it's shy shy i'm writing it so i stick it on my lamp it's shy shay is shy shay is shy you know i've written it down shy and it's going on my lamp in front of me my pronunciations i hope you're not offended because i don't do it on purpose i promise you um i'm terrible there we go i've got it in front of me now shy and it is a beautiful name by the way <laughs> very beautiful name because over here we pronounce it sh chai or shay 
and that's why I keep getting it muddled up so do apologize okay hello Mona okay so I do a quick dust jacket take off Andrew's just coming in so just ignore chip for a minute hello Molly hello Amanda and it's gorgeous and then the jacket is beautiful as well <laughs> so it's stunning really is stunning okay so, sorry Andrew's just coming in so he hasn't seen him all day so he gets excited so I'm going to take that off and we're going to flip through I love how small it is I really do love how small it is okay have you got a clear picture of what they all look like there we go hello hello how's your f oh do you want a story so Andrew sent me a picture today how was your walk home one of his heels came off of his shoe, so he's literally got one without, let me show you, and he's got, he had to walk from the station with that, and that was quite funny. So today, Andrew managed to lose a heel off of his shoe, so we've got to go and get him another one. Um, so this was Andrew. This is the shoe that lost the heel. This is how it's meant to be with a heel. <laughs> and then this is him. I lost my heel! <laughs> okay, they said hi, Andrew. Hi, everyone. So... This is beautiful. It came today. It's double-sided like the other books. The paper quality is beautiful. I haven't actually um, tried anything on here, so I can't tell you what works best. But I'll let you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Kenny will get him a new pair. They were cheap and cheerful at the time. But he's had to do a lot of like walking around in them over the last two weeks, and it just, yeah, they didn't actually stand up. Hello, Connie. Good to see you. <laughs> How you been? So isn't it stunning? I know Kenny will love this in particular. In, in if you do watch this back, Kenny is um, one of our lovely mods, and she is a huge fan of Kanoku. See, <laughs> I was waiting for it. It sent he Helena. It was, I think, five working days. It was like super duper quick. Beautiful, right? And I like that it is smaller because her pages are so detailed. I think sometimes it can be overwhelming with a big page. So, and I like that there is quite a few in here that are smaller. Oh, Connie, just relax. This book, how? That's okay, Connie. I was showing everyone your your gorgeous little budgies, your, your little parakeets earlier. Thank you. I was just showing them. They are gorgeous. I had to show them off. So thank you for sending those in the email. They're beautiful. Yeah, tell Connie that she's multi-talented because she is. She's so humble. She doesn't accept the compliments. But she is a super, super multi-talented woman that can just practically try her hand at most of her little hobbies. And they're amazing. Hi, Celie. They're gorgeous, right? I love this one in particular. You've got parrot, another parrot, a toucan, and a gecko. All right, I'm not a fan of the big leaves, but we can get around that because we've got orchids, which is my favourite flower, and you've got these tropical birds. <laughs> yeah, see, hi, pickle. This book is called. I'll put the Amazon um, Japan link in the stream after the stream in the description. Um, hi, colouring diva. It's called Symphony of Cute Animals and it's by Kanuka Kanoku Agusa. I'll put I'll put the link. Oh thank you. There's oh Kenny's done it for us. They are so beautiful. And it's the imagination behind some of them. Look, you've got these little hamster mice, whatever they are, sipping these cocktails. You've got the big pineapples in the back, because of course pineapples are going to be huge against a little mouse. And then sandcastles with bunnies it's just so adorable this is very apt for this kind of year big sunflowers harvest and then i love elephants are my favorite and then you've got sort of busy pages like this but you've got such adorable little pages as well this is another cute one so you've got the broomstick you've got I'll bring the lights down so you can see nice and clearly. There you go. So you have like the mice, the owl, 
they're on a broomstick so you can put this as like this time of year Halloween hiya Christina rebel <laughs> and then we're gonna go into some seasonal things in a second um so I'll take that out in a minute so like the pumpkins this type of thing is definitely this time of year hiya Mary and then you've got like a Halloween party look you've got a pug dressed as a mummy I mean how cute you've got a bunny dressed as a fairy you've got a fox with a little bat of some kind on it and a stick <laughs> you've got the cape with the little kitten just so cute and then they're eating like at a Halloween party you can make those in Halloween bunting so adorable look I'm in love with that little hedgehog. I've got cinnamon wells. Gorgeous. I like this one as well. And then you've got like shelves here. Look at that panda. They're just so cute. I mean you can't you can't go wrong with this one. A lantern, you've got the little sort of chipmunks or squirrels. You can make them into either or. This is very much a Christmas double page spread, not too busy, so you can really do quite a bit with that. You can leave it like I would. <laughs> I love, love it. Okay, then we've got more Christmas. So you've got Christmas baubles, you've got a Christmas party with all the gifts and a dinner table that's got some champagne, some gifts and some decorations and a Christmas tree. And then this is a huge double like page in terms of busyness. But we've got like a ribbon trees. We've got a gingerbread house. We've got all this food, cones, just lots. Penguins, bears, seal on its side. It's just so cute though. Good morning, Wilson. Little Robins. I mean, this cost me all round £20. That was with postage, but that's in the UK. I'm sorry about the light. It's nice and sunny now. So we've got more sort of wintry. Look at that. Any cat lovers? Isn't that beautiful? And then a food. I can see KP. Anyone follow KP? We love our KP. This is definitely a KP Colours page. It's got chocolate truffles, cupcakes, biscuits. You call them cookies. Um... And we've got a cat in there. You've got just all different types of sweets and treats. You've got some flowers, but they're on the actual biscuits. And then another couple of really... Let me just dip those blinds. One second. Is that better? Oh, we've still got some. I can't really do much about that. It is The, the sun goes down very shortly. And then, I like this one. Andrew wouldn't like this one because it's got buttons in it. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that out loud. Andrew doesn't like them. He really doesn't like buttons. And I know that's not that odd. I've heard of it before. Why are you revealing that I'm some kind of... There's weirdo. some people that don't like certain things on a page, but there's <laughs> lots of them on that page. <laughs> I know, they're so cute, Charlotte. And then we've got more reef type with birds lots of it's just her signature style it's beautiful and then my favorite part about this book is this part so this part is like postcards and you've got even smaller little things to do as well um which we're coming up to so the backs of them are like a postcard so you can gift them out color them and like gift them out if you've got friends in the community that you know would appreciate them and then we've got more, like, again, Happy New Year one, so you could gift that out. But my favourite and most, I love them, are these. They're like message cards and ornaments. So they're so small and you could make such a nice job of them. But my favourite one of all is this little budgie at the bottom here. And I like how small it is. That wouldn't take too long. I say that, it'll probably take about three hours. But I would love to make that look like Tilly. And I just, I absolutely love this so much. It's an adorable book. So I'll put the, the link in the description after as well. I got this off Amazon Japan. They do worldwide ship and they are so quick. I think they're quicker than our own Amazons, to be fair. 
because if I ordered this, some things take a long time. So I really, really like this. I, I know a lot of you are fans. I also did order, and I don't think I showed you Splashed too. Um, and I, I'll show you these quickly. I'm, I'm not going to do full flip throughs. I'll just give a quick peek. So I ordered the Inktober Colouring Heaven. And I ordered Splash 2. Now, I love how diverse this is. However, I was thinking that a lot of our artists in the community do actually do Inktober. And none of them like Ros Rice, Isabella, Ros Rice, So Manama that lady, and Grazia Salvo, and that, that kind of thing. They do Inktober every year, and that was the kind of thing I was thinking maybe we might find in this Inktober. It's not. It is from um, artists. And they're ones that I hadn't heard of before. So there is a, a ton of styles, and it tells you at the side the prompt, and it also tells you the artist. Now, they weren't originally made for colouring pages. They were made as Inktober sketches. So it's going to be very diverse um, and a lot of different styles completely. So you have lots of different... Oh, it's just like some of them are more simplized, like a tattoo, and more are the busy of what we've gone through, like the wilderness and the wild pages, like this one. Um, so bear in mind they weren't originally supposed to be colouring pages, they were really an Inktober sketch. So where they use a lot of ink for Inktober, they use like um, liquid ink a lot of them. You might find that some pages will have a lot of black because they, that's what they're supposed to do. But some of them are very cute. As I said there is such an arrangement of styles in this. I like this one in particular. And a lot of different artists. Now I know Colour of Claire will most probably do a review on this so she'll give you a, a little bit more of an in-depth hello monkey. Chip's come to say hello. I'm, I'm sorry you can't come up. Go see your dad. So this is what's in the book. Some of them are more simpler, simpler and some of them not so much. So lots and lots of different styles in there. Then I bought this. I showed you Splashed One. Now I did this cat for my mum. Uh, she's got it framed. And that was by an artist called Lisa Marie um, Artistry. Hello. Oh my god, my dog really is adamant on coming up. Hello Munchkin. Um, now I did that. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I did all the individual strokes. I did it with poly colours. I did it with Posca and Distress Inks. And I had an absolute whale of a time on this one. Loved it. Hello, Tonya. Loved it. Now, you'll see why I wanted this one. So, this has got a lot of grayscale. It's, it's grayscale, but a lot of grayscale background as well. Which is perfect. Because look at the cats. Now, these are why I bought the book because I really think things like um, Distress Inks and then your colours will go down really well on this. So this is Splash 2. It's by uh, many artists, but it's compiled by Hester Malt. Again, I'll put this in the description after. But they're quite realistic, and they've got Chihuahua as well. I mean, come on. <laughs> so they are really good for doing fur easy. Easy fur. So if you haven't done fur, um, look. Um, if you haven't done fur, they're really realistic and it will help you and guide you along the way. They are quite heavy grayscale, as I said, but look at them. And if you put colour to that, that will look real. It was gorgeous. Um, so this is the reason why I ordered it. And even if I don't do many in here, I know that if I really fancy doing a cat like I did there, I'll come to this book. Or I'll go over and have a look on Lisa Marie Artistry on Etsy because she does um, animals as well. So this one is called Splash 2. Bassets are my absolute favourite shy. Favourite, apart from Chihuahuas, of course. <laughs> I have to say that, don't I, because I've got Chihuahua. But yeah, so this one is um, Hester Malt Splash 2. I really just love the cats, most of all, in this one. 
And now we're going to get on with our wolfie. So our werewolf has been lurking in the background for a long time because, you know, things happened and that had to take centre stage. What I'm, we've covered the fur, we've covered the bats and the birds, we've covered this area and all the blood. What I want to do is do the tail and I also want to do the dark wood because this one's a bit lighter. This one at the back won't have any of the um, light reflecting on it. It's right at the back. Thank you. And remember, if there's anything for me, do pop it in big caps so I can see it. Okay, so now I can actually sit and relax with you and colour. So I'm going to bring you down. Sorry for the ride. So we're going to do the tail, and the tail I will do a little bit on the lighter side. We're using polychromos, which I absolutely adore. They're my favourites, my original favourite. I love all my pencils, though. Now, the background is still red, um, and we'll see how I go with that, but I do feel to black it out and do, like, the white glows and stuff. We'll see. We'll see. But how is your days going? <laughs> I finally get to sit down with you. Um, so Andrew's only just come in and we are going to have to pop to the shop because uh, he needs um, a pair to go into with tomorrow plus I have to return a pair of pyjamas so I won't be doing a, a super long stream today but I will be doing a nice hour, hour and a half oh that's okay Look away, I'm so happy when you're here. It's fine. Hello, Hedwig. I love your name. Mary, you, you, you're a Hedwig fan. <laughs> Are you all purchasing art? I'm just reading your comments. Are you all getting that book? Oops. <laughs> Oops. Hold on, shit. Right. One second, guys. What... Just a puppy intermission is going to happen. Puppy intermission. Hello. Come and say hi then. But you can't sit here for long. All right. Mummy's streaming. She's streaming. Like, come here then. All right. We've got a puppy intermission because someone. Wait, wait, wait. Let's move this a minute. Someone decided that he has to talk to me and that he just needs a bit of fuss. <laughs> Don't you? What is happening? You're going to say hi to everyone? Well, I can't sit here for long doing this because mummy is streaming. I know. Andrew, are you coming to sit down in a minute? Because yeah. he's, um, he's needing attention and he's like craving it, wants to come up and I'm supposed to be doing my werewolf. Sorry, guys. I know, talk about like, he was adamantly scratching at my legs. Oh, I'm so sorry. He's not on you. He's been with me all day. And, uh, you know, are you going to show your face? Say hi. Say hello then. <laughs> he hasn't got his jumper on today. Right, can you please get down? I love you, but you have to get down. Come on. Come on in. I'm so sorry. Do you want to go see your dad? Not really. <laughs> He's like, no, it's okay. Right, come on. I'm so sorry, Chip. I'm so sorry. I love you. Go on. No, he's not happy. He is not happy, lovelies. He's really not. He's like, oh my God, why are you putting me back? I wanted to sit there. <laughs> he's so used to getting his own way. That's the problem. Does anyone else have dogs like that? No, like, just ridiculously needy of attention. I think that's my fault. I really think that's my fault. I mothered him and mothered him and mothered him to a point where he just always, always wants me. Okay. Tail. So we were using some, um, we've got the greys. We don't need any yellow. We had the greys, didn't we? Um, and we had a couple of browns. Oh, that's good. You're here now. Yeah, he was constantly needing attention. Ah, he's so happy he's run over to his dad. <laughs> Are they? Yeah. Are you all the same? One of yours at your feet in the office. Yes, Chloe's just like that. Cherry is very needy. <laughs> Cherry's ridiculous. I love how you put different words there. Cherry's needy. Cherry's ridiculous. 
<laughs> it's that, hmm. It's our fault. Hi, Cherry Lynn. Okay, let's go for some cold grey, maybe cold grey. Is that 5-4? I'm not sure. 5-4, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so this is a long running whip. I know, this will be the final part I'm doing on it. Because we're going to cover practically everything. Oh, that's okay, Terry Lynn. I have just shifted a day and a half long headache. I understand. Go lay down, hun. That's fine. It'll be here. It can be in the background. I hope it eases soon. I've only just got rid of mine. I had it last night. I've had it this morning. I've had it all day. And I've got those ice pick headaches where they keep coming like full force in my brain and then they go and then they come back and they're like full force and they go. You ordered splash too. Hello, Helly. <laughs> Your cat is spoiled and insanely, insanely spoiled. Well, it's our fault. Ladies and gents, if there is gents here, it is our fault. We over spoil them. Oh, we've got, I don't know if you've got it in the US, but we have a show over here called Catchphrase. Do you have it in the US? Do you have it anywhere else? I'm just checking before I say anything further. Okay, sorry, I was just trying to find number 233. Um, my mum's Marley howls like a full-on howl when he watches it. It's so cute. Let's put you there. Are you good there? Are you good in your screens, guys? Put a thumbs up for me. Oh. Hello, Emma. Hi, everyone. Coming on in. Hi, Kirsty. I didn't say hello to you earlier. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm just, I'm not even going to go with the light, there's no point. I'm just going to go straight over with this one I build up. And I've covered the bats, haven't I? I've covered the birds. So we're going to do the towel and the dark wood furthest. The medium wood in the middle. So I'm not going to do the whole thing, I'm just going to do a bit of everything. So I know there's quite a few people that are following this. And yes, I am going back to Grazia's as, as well. But... I will put a vote up on our next picture and it will be a Halloween themed this time. So we did an autumn one Saturday. So I'm going to put a poll vote uh, in the community tab tomorrow. So look on there tomorrow, midday roughly, and put your cast your vote for Saturday or choose next Tuesday we'll say. Because Saturday I really want to come back to the doll, the Grazia Salvo doll if I get any time to record it I'll record it if not it will be our stream um but I really want you to vote good great lovely thank you thank you <laughs> yes Lozzie so there'll be probably nine pictures and it will be the one with the most votes like I usually do that kind of thing and did you see sorry quick news did you see Dexter's coming back any Dexter fans in the house the show Dexter, it's coming back. So he's reprising his role. It was left open though, right? It was open completely for him to come back. Sad thing is, LaGuerta's now dead in it. And Debs is dead in it. So I'm kind of going to miss them because I loved them in it. Um, but I am so happy that Dexter's coming back. Anyone? Oh my God, Kirsty, please try it. It is amazing. <laughs> oh my God. I was like... Ah, <laughs> yes, coming back. Ah, oh, Amanda, you're so sweet. And hello, honey. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's coming back. And I'm really on a thriller. Shannon, are you reading any thrillers? Have you read anything? I know colouring took over for a bit, but are you managing to read anything again, hun? I'm reading, and I'm right at the end of Sherry Lapina, a herbic. I know, she did and I was so sad, hold on, um, I'm at the end of this book, I'm enjoying it, I wouldn't say it's a five star so far, but look, I'm right at the end, well near the end, it won't take me long to read that, um, it's, it's good, it is good, I wouldn't say five stars, say probably a four, um, roughly and then I'm going to go on to my best friend's exorcism Kirsty I don't not very well <laughs> not very well at all 
But I am diamond painting and I've nearly finished. Um, I finished the corpse bride. Did you see that on um, Instagram? And I'm doing a... We ended up buddying up because we were exactly the same part on our diamond painting, on the same diamond painting. Me and Kat. And we're kind of... Well, I think she's just a few squares ahead of me. Um, but I do love to diamond paint. So I've nearly finished that. And then I'm going to do Izzy the Beekeeper, which is also a DAC. Um, and that is an autumnal one. She's got a witch hat on. Um, so just that's just cold grey five. That's just to get our base down. So yeah, I don't really very well. <laughs> ah, I love Nicholas Sparks books. I haven't read one of his for ages. Okay, let's go on to 274. Okay, let's start putting some depth in here. And I'm making this tower a bit darker. So I just wanted a base to work on like I usually do. Now you could have watercolored that and got yourself going, but if you like to be quicker than I am, I'm just slow. And also, nice little town fans. There is a new nice little town book. Have you seen it, Shannon? And it's Christmas, Mary. <laughs> I know you guys like the Christmas book. I know, Shannon, you've just done a nice little town. Um, let me show you. So it's Santa's Village, I think it's called. If you go to um, Tatiana Bagima Stolova's YouTube channel, she's got a flip through. Um, so it's this one. This is new. It's just come out. Nice little town, Santa's Village. So this is like five pounds, five dollars. Uh, it's brand new. It's so cute. So if you go to Tatiana Bagima Stolova's channel, she's got a flip through. You can also buy them on PDF, I believe. Yeah, you can buy PDFs though, Sherry. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Tonya. <laughs> oh, nice. What one's that, Shan? <laughs> you going to go and order that? <laughs> so yeah, that's just come out. Just come out. So, um, there's lots, I think there's going to be a lot of Christmas books this year because, I tell you why, because we've had a really rubbish year, I think that the artists are going to give us like an extra sort of bit of joy and Christmas is always that, isn't it? And bearing in mind that Christmas might be a little bit different for many people this year, I think that there'll be more to release. I am Victoria, thank you. How are you? So do keep in like a lookout for these types of things. I think in December there's another mythographic out as well. There's lots on the horizon. But definitely I think they're going to release more Christmas stuff. And I think it will just be like we don't know about it and then they'll just release it. I'm sure there's some out there, Sherry. I'm sure there's like bible Christmas books. Um, you'll have to have a look. You want about like in pictures or with words? Because there's lots of Bible verses and, you know, uplifting Bible verses, Christmas books out there. Is there something underneath here? No. Wait a minute. Let's just put this under. But yeah, definitely keep an eye out because it's worth looking for. Um, you know, everyone's tastes are different. Mmm. There's a lady that does a lot of Bible, um, what's her name? Mum, you know the, the lady. You do her books and she's a good friend of Christine Aldridge. You do her like country bumpkin books. I can't think of her name now, but she does a lot of Bible books. Ah, thank you for coming. I always am so appreciative of time because I know time you'll take time out of your day so thank you okay so I'm just getting in some darker patches this is going to take me a while I know the, the towel I take a while but it's you know it's been a labor of love anyway so why not just take the extra bit of time ah oh, thank you Sherry hi Jennifer did you buy it Shannon <laughs> I know that that little um two minute be right back means that you're on Amazon did you click that by now 
Boots, she's off ordering the, the nice little town, I, I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> Better are you doing the same? <laughs> oh gosh. Who's going to do Christmas earlier this year or are you still going to keep your tradition and do it in December? Because I know a lot of people have actually started, I've seen pictures of people actually putting their, I hate to say the C word so early, but people, it's over the like uh, social media stories that people are actually putting their Christmas trees up now uh, to give them a little bit of festive joy and happiness. And I don't know about there in the US, but here in the UK, we have a 24 hour Christmas movie channel called Sony Christmas. And it plays movies all day, all night, all Christmas related. And I, Andrew's gonna give me rolly eyes in a minute, but I actually had one on earlier this morning. And it was like a case for Christmas or something like that, the perfect case for Christmas. And it was so ridiculously cheesy, I loved it. <laughs> Oh, yes, Lozzie, where did that uh, enabling train go? Where did you put it? You you put it up for a little bit. I think you rolled off into the sunset with it for a while. What happened? <laughs> Remember if it was anything for me, put it in big caps. Also, um, I think Anastasia is doing a new book. Uh, I think it's back in circles or form, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> okay so there where I'm going to put darks coming in so we'll we'll blend out into a bit lighter but for now we know where we're going to go okay so can you see it's going to match this fur but we're going to go browns in there as well so we had browns coming in where did you derail to Lozzie we want to know <laughs> did you have a good time <laughs> And I hope work's been good to you and a bit calmer. Uh, brown ochre. So we're going to start to put in some of our browns. Oh, I've got a few thrillers that I'm going to read over the next few weeks, I think. I'm really in a reading mood. And um, weirdly, uh, I am not massively... I watched Hocus Pocus as well. And Frank and Weenie. Have you seen those books? Uh, see that but have you seen those films? Hocus Pocus and Frank and Weenie. It's on um Disney Plus. I watched The Nightmare Before Christmas so many times I think I've done myself out of that. I've <laughs> I watched it this year and I've watched The Corpse Bride as well. We started the omen, we've got to continue that and I we watched like every year the poltergeist and that one actually is the creepiest one I've ever watched. It makes me feel, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yes, I have. Oh, nice, Lozzie. What is your plan? What's the plan? That is what you call a bonus. 16 days make the most of it I used to love my days off oh my god I used to like try and fit everything in I loved them loved them do I think yes yes Wilds Within Wilds is really good that's it Sue Curry Sue Curry check her out Sherry she does a lot of biblical books um you know she's quite uh she has a lot of faith and she is a strong believer so she does a lot of books with biblical related and religious and um, I think she's a Christian so it's all Christian related if that's you know everyone's different <laughs> hiya Winchester uh, Sue Curry S-U-E and then Curry C-U-R-R-Y Sue Curry she um she does a lot of different books but she has got a lot of uh, books of faith that's okay Connie I know that it's a uh, it's always the same with me as well I know it's that time of day okay so let's go for before we start putting more greys in so that I've put in a few okay so we're putting the warm grey and we're gonna I think number two um, 
or warm grey, no we'll go for warm grey 3, warm grey 2 is a bit too light, I don't want to go too light, um, we'll go for warm grey 3, okay so now what I'm going to do off the back of that brown ochre is sort of blend outwards, we need to come darker but we'll do that in a minute, so I'm just, I'm trying to get this right because my werewolf, we in his name, Wolfie, he, uh, he's got a blend in with the rest of his body, so we're going to try and make it match. If anyone's wondering, I am using polys like I have been on the entire thing. Um, yes, I did, and I really want to colour that, Shah. I did some more on our <clears throat> body colour as well yesterday a little bit just a little bit not too much I had a ra I've still got a headache but it was raging and I've got it today again I phoned mum up this morning and I was like my head keeps hurting she's like did you book your injection no well I think you're overdue Sam yes I know I need to book it that's probably what's causing them <laughs> Thanks, Shah. You're doing Mona, aren't you, Winchester? Your Mona is beautiful. That's that's okay. You you've got the last square, haven't you? You lurk away. Anyone that needs to lurk, please lurk. I love my lurkers as much, just as much. Sometimes you don't feel like talking. You just want a hobby in the background. And that is absolutely fine. I work and lurk. Some people work and lurk. And that's absolutely fine as well. Okay. So I'm just going to put more in here. And then this part. Now that part's going to be darker. So we need our dark greys. Um, uh, Wales is, yes. No, we're not quite there yet. But we probably will be in the next few months weeks um i'd say so i'm just making the most of it dad and granddad were down today um they were helping out because i still doing my problems with car car problems we'll say that's okay you semi lurk and color um 274 and uh yeah just i'm i'm a bit of a what do they call um indoor but like a homey person anyway so it doesn't worry me it just worries me about people's jobs and Andrew going out and about in it I don't like that either but you know we can't do anything about it. I think we're all going to be very anxious right now so we'll just focus on this and that will be that but yes that's why terms and conditions for 2021 we need to know we're very much needing to know the terms and conditions of next year. <laughs> so, in the meantime, let's just hobby. Hobby tape. Hobbies make everything better. Yep, same. Ke Kenny, homebody all the way. I do have to run out and about, but that's just been lately because of, um, you know, life breaks you a few few things and you have to roll with them but apart from that and continue to pray for little bear uh, who is our lovely Melody's baby um, who is still in hospital and really needs the power of everyone's wishes on his side to fight so if you're watching this back and you're wondering who bear is Melody is one of our amazing friends in the community and bear his her three she had three days but he's a three month old Pomeranian and he's very ill and um, he needs to fight whatever's going on with his little body so we need a lot of wishes prayers and just everyone's collective like healthy get well vibes sent I do believe that if we do those kinds of things it goes a long way <laughs> yeah there is world 
Little Riker's like a teenager now. They go all of a sudden, don't they, from that tiny little pup to looking like a little teen. Okay, so we're getting there. So I'm going to bring in the dark, dark one. So the thing is with these, they do mean to take lots of layers. If you haven't got, because there are people that haven't got the polys, um, they are amazing for layering. And then we'll match it. So if we look at his body, his tail needs to go a bit darker. So if I just just show you so we can we can compare <laughs> hey Gary how's your little tiny baby how's she getting on Gary's got a chihuahua <laughs> little long haired iris I always like iris updates I like any dog update I know, it's so funny though, but they go all of a sudden and it's just like, when did that happen? How did you grow up so quick? Stay small. <laughs> okay, let's find. Ooh. Okay, warm grey. Let's find our other warm grey. She's a demon. I love it when you go, <laughs> it's so funny. Everyone says that about them, but they're so funny. <laughs> She's a demon. <laughs> Just chihuahua nature, I love them, they're just hilarious. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay, so we're just going to put the darker in now, just to... Are you getting that cold in the US now? Are you getting snow? My gosh. Oh, I mean, it's quite warm here. Unseasonably warm today, actually. We had 18 Celsius in London. Was it, Andrew? Um, you looked yesterday. And you, it has been warm. It's not been cold. Yeah, I don't know if it was that hot. No, probably about 15 then. But it was definitely warmer. I just found it funny how you ought to walk home with one heel. <laughs> I phoned mum up and I was like, he's going to walk from the station where you look like you're going like, you know where you got a limp. Mm. <laughs> when did that happen? Well, at some point during the day, I've got no idea. Not in the bus? No. I you reckon could... it was walking in the morning. That's so funny. And you didn't feel it? Well, I did, but <laughs> I just carried on. How can, oh. When you're running late, you haven't got time to worry about things like that. Yeah, but you must have felt a heel come off of your foot because your walking would change so, you know. Mm. It would just change. Your whole stance would change. It's coming along. Okay, so we need a little bit more of a ochre or a raw umber. Ah, Debbie, do you know what? Treat yourself if you can, because, or oh, buy them in singles on cult pens even. Okay, so we're just going to go over a little bit in some areas. I think everyone deserves it this year. Go treat yourself. Can, who has ordered Clara Markovas? I haven't bought the postcards. Um, Andrew ordered the book. And I'll order the postcards, you know, the end of the month. Um, and then we've got to focus on Christmas. I know, Lozzie, that's what I said. <laughs> when, he, when he told me, I was like, oh my God. And then me and mum, would, we just laughed. And I was like, bless him. <laughs> you must have had a limp, that's what I was thinking. How can you not have a limp? Okay, I need warm grey free, and then I think I'm done with that. And then we'll go to some of the browns. Um, and then, as I said, we'll do a, a poll up by tomorrow. Okay, so all of the rest of it, it needs to be a bit warmer. 
So I'm just going to blend out into all that. What we've done, you won't lose anything because you've got the other colours which, you know, they still jump through. This is a lighter tone. And then if we need to look, we can go underneath the bats and stuff with black. Wow. $900, what, for a month? Or is that your heating bill? Do you live in a palace? <laughs> That's crazy. On average, in the winter, it does go up. I mean, our bills have been pretty, you know, manageable. And then the winter comes, and then you just think, oh my God, why? Is it the same in the US where you have private companies that do it as well? Just wondering. Like, private companies that run your gas and electric I should imagine so okay I just need to find some black I don't know where it is there it is okay let's put some black in so underneath these bats I'll bring you down just so you can see so you know we've got this little bat here so underneath I'll just make a little bit of a shadow and it just look. oh my gosh I need to silence that so sorry Is that for the both of them boots? Wow. It is extortionate, isn't it, shipping sometimes? And I mean, I know, because I ship quite often abroad, because all of my, I'd say 95% of giveaways and stuff are out of this country. And I know, because I package everything very well, and I know shipping is high depending on the weight, but a book, I don't know, it's probably about $20. Um, and I know they have to consider, you know, the expense of all the wrapping and everything like that. So I do know that shipping can be very high and that is out of, you know, out of anyone's hands. That is all to do with the uh, international shipping customs, etc. all added in. But I do think sometimes there is a bit of an added charge, you know, which is very high. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. But as I said, I know from shipping it can be. So, you know, just bear that in mind. Because I've always thought that, you know, it seems high. But then when I've added it up, it actually isn't off you know, too far off of what it actually does cost. But they do have to put in, um, you know, if they've spent on all the shipping staff boxes or packaging and they add that in and then the actual customs and you have to sign the customs declarations and things like that. I do sometimes think they do, yeah. Okay, so the towel matches, right? But <clears throat> let's come up a minute. Let's see it on its full glory. Okay, so we did down here. We might as well do his feet. We didn't do that last time. Um, while I'm here, I don't want to do too much grey uh, because I want to keep it interesting. There is a few little items. I'm just going to do them in gold, I think. And then, you know, you've got the hidden item that he has in every page. Hello, Leah. Um, and then this part... Oh my god, I have to say, Kat, your witch, your bohemian witch, was out of this world amazing. Can I show everyone, if I have your permission? I don't want to do it if you don't want me to, but if I do, can I show people? It was just honestly amazing. Okay, so we need some browns, um, so I'm going to get my brown cards. And we need to do it a bit darker. And Kirsty, your pictures have been beautiful. I, of course I don't mind showing. I'd love to show it, but I always ask permission just in case. Because some people don't like it. Um, right, so I have to show you Kat. Her latest, let me see if it will work without it all. Right, 
Let me turn this lighting down a second. This is Cat. If my there you go. This was her latest one. So that's her handle up there. Cat Kai Low Colors with a K. And this is her Matt Davidson Witch. And it's got all these beautiful tones in it. Look at the detail. Let me come in closer. Look at that. It's just a work of art. And look at those braids. It's just stunning. I love it. And look at the detail even on the dress or the top. Look. Isn't it just amazing? So I loved it so much. I was like, wow. Oh, okay, we're back. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. I love it. I love it. Gorgeous. So yeah, definitely one to go check out. If you've not got cat on your um, Instagram, go find cat. She's amazing. And a beautiful colorist, lovely person, just all round. So if you want any inspo, I'd check her out. Okay, we need to get our browns in on this action now. So we want to go quite dark, I believe, down this end here. So we did this quite light with the moon glow, and we're going to go darker down this end. So we're just going to bring you down. This one's pretty much going to be dark with black. Oh, I need to put my glasses on now. I think my eyes are starting to strain. Isn't it just? Hi Angela, hi you Cereba. <laughs> okay. Let's go for some Van Dyke Brown, some black, some burnt umber, and maybe some burnt sienna. So this is like the back one, so we're just gonna focus on the darks. Um start with Van Dyke Brown. Maybe Van Dyke Brown, where are you? There it is. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go for this really dark one at the back. Hiya, Dorothy. Yes, she's doing much better now, thank you. She's still blurry, but blurry in a good way, not blurry in a bad way. She can make out what everyone's saying as long as it's in caps. And she um, is starting to colour a little bit and can see the lines now. So that's good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> what the bog roll <laughs> yeah that was a funny funny one that you ask him if he comes through with the bog roll okay so we're gonna go I really want to do a portrait so I'm gonna do portrait options um on the pole and I'll be Halloween themed ones so I fancy a portrait and we have a lot of inspiration from everyone in the community, so definitely, I'm just going to do that brown. Um, I fancy a portrait now, because I've been doing animals, I've been doing a lot of other things, so I think it's back to a portrait. What do you think? Ah, thank you. Yeah, it was scary. I mean, even her letter, when her letter, sorry, just, just talking to Dorothy, um, the letter that she received with the outcome of, you know, the sort of statistics of, of how successful it might be was quite, you know, not very good. So we're so happy that it's better than what we expected and that she can, that they're kind of working together because they attached the retina back and although she's got silicon and it's still blurry, she can actually make things out again, which she cried the other day because she woke up and she could see clearer and it wasn't all fuzzy and she could actually see the sofa and the cushions she hadn't been able to see them, it was black so, yeah, thanks for asking yes, a fancy portrait yes, I want to go do, I, wanna, I really want to do a portrait so I'm going to put up nine options in a poll and as I said, by midday-ish tomorrow it could even be earlier check the community tab out you've got probably until next Tuesday, if not it will be Saturday this Saturday, um, get your votes in, cast your votes on what you fancy me colouring and we will do that together 
and also I'll ask you to put down the number of the picture because I'll number them and also what pencils you want me to use so that we've got like an overall feel of what people want and we'll go with that okay so this is just going to be the darker one I'm just starting off with where I want dark to light not going to be particularly light light it will you know it's going to be the lightest part it's going to be that area um, or maybe it should be the darkest oh darkest let's go for dark actually or am I going to say light let's put some more pressure down because that's the furthest point isn't it my brain's not in gear today no Sherry I can't I'm not I, I'm learning how to paint I don't know if you've seen my paintings and my stuff that I've done um, but I've gifted every single one of them out I've not kept one every single one has got home um, I just gift them but no I'm here just for the fun I'm here for the hobby that's that's why I set the channel up it was so some you could have a collective place to come and, and sort of hang out and it'd be about the hobby and that was the whole main reason so I would never sort of take money for anything um, I'd rather do something and gift it I know boots I know you need to have a word with Amazon UK <laughs> I'm sure me, Lozzie and Kat would jump on it we need a protest ok let's go dark on that side so we're just going to whoops this is just um the furthest tree ok hold on ok and then I'm going to just go straight on because this is your very end point because we'll put some black in on that to just put that down straight because they're just dark branches aren't they it's like they're the furthest so they're going to have black in them and that's the good thing about the furthest point is that it doesn't need a heck of a lot of shading because it is the furthest point whereas this one will so we'll just um, focus on a couple of browns and a black in this I think so I'm just going to apply quite a bit of pressure into this part because they are the very last. <laughs> Get a couple of, maybe try some singles for a bit, Lozzie. That's what I did. I built up my first set. Um, just getting like a couple of singles. The other day I actually got some singles uh, to replace a few. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got some brown. He's, he might bark. He might bark because there's people outside. Okay, let's put a little bit of the lighter tone in, maybe, um, with some burnt sienna. Sorry about Chip for a second. Chip. Chip. No, no. I have to find my burnt sienna. Hold on. Uh, I have no idea where it is. Where's my burnt sienna gone? I think it grew some legs. Where did it go? Okay, I can't find it. I'll have to look for it after. I think it's grown a pair of legs. Hold on. Oh no, I found it. I found it. I found it. Ah, Lozzy, we're going to have to look at the... We'll keep an eye out for the deals at Black Friday. Okay, so I'm going to put some burnt sienna in the middle, all the way down, get rid of any of that white. Straight down the middle. We're not doing any fancy shading just yet, because this is the furthest. Yeah, I'm hoping. There was one Black Friday I got my Christmas um, in the US Amazon with shipping for £40, which was an absolute steal. That was with shipping. 
they were like $30 and then the shipping on top so it ended up in our currency £40 me and mum both got one and they haven't done that since but hopefully this year <laughs> hopefully we can dream embrace the white char right so we're going to put some black in before we do anything else and then we're going to see where we're at okay so we've got to put some black on the opposite of white there because this is our creepy tree in the back it can't be too dark because if I do a dark background in the end and go over this one then I'll lose the tree so I've got to really be selective on how much I put down all pencil on this bit I did neo base on him on the majority and I need to do it down here as well um, it's just the towel I just did in pencil I've done a mix remember we started with some neos Kenny um, and I do the rest of this body here I want to do we could actually do a neo base on that tree couldn't we it would speed things up I kind of am a stickler for punishment on this bit so I'm putting some black in first because we'll blend that out and we'll put some more browns down. Right, that needs to just be black. This will be dark. So let's put some black in there. Got this furthest tree, darkest. Oh, nice. Yeah, I put some neo base on that. You're right. I put neo base on here and I need to do the leg with it as well. That's why I've left the leg. So we did this one. So that's how that one's going to be. So as long as I've pretty much covered everything, I know there's a few people that sent me their pictures and they're just amazing. They're like, you know, I've been long on this one because of circumstances and they've finished or they're waiting on just the last bit and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I actually really want to finish him in time for Halloween. So... I was like, right, Tuesday, I will finish as much as I can on him. As long as I've covered everything with people that are following it. And bless your hearts for doing that. I always think that. I'm like, oh my gosh. Then I think I'm confident enough that people will, you know, be able to finish it in their own time then, like I will. So it's just covering all aspects of this which I think I've pretty much done now. Hi, Sue! <laughs> I hope you're well, honey. So good to see you. Sue is Melody's sister. That real sister sister. <laughs> We were giving out prayers to little bear as well earlier, so. Okay, so we've put in some black. Um, right, so we've done that black in there. Let's put quite a decent amount down. Let's get our browns now and let's go for some burnt umber. And then we can move on to the other one. Uh, where's my burnt umber? You know when pencils just want to hide away from you? That happens to me very, very frequently. There we go. Found it. <laughs> Found it. All right, so off the back of that black, let's blend in some of this burnt umber. And we have to be quite generous with our amount just having to think before I go I really want to flip through Serenity and have a quick look in there if there's anything that could be Halloween-y or even in our other books because I haven't done one of hers in a while I know quite a lot of you um, really enjoy 
Anastasia's work, but I really fancy doing something Halloween y. Oh, there's Jasmine Beckett. Um, I have to flip through. Hannah Carlson's got a few. It's going to be a portrait because I was thinking maybe Kanuku Agusa, but I think I'd like to do a portrait next because we haven't done one for a while. So I was just having a mental thing. Plot in the chat if there's any books you can think of that have. Because you know I've got quite a few. A lot of you have looked through my catalogue quite a few times. So you know what I've got. Is there any books that you can think of that's got a strong Halloween vibe? Portraits. And then we can have that in the poll. Oh, of course she does. That's okay, Mary. <laughs> you don't have to be apologise apologising for that. That's life. I do that often. Um, okay. So then back to our burnt sienna, and that's on this edge now. Just have a little mental like, note of the books that's got a Halloween vibe, portrait wise. Clara Markova, Romantic Country. Oh yeah, we've got PDFs as well, haven't we? Dawn Davison. I did get that, Tracy, yeah. Oh, noodles sounds good, but so does the lemon chicken. <laughs> oh my god, lemon chicken pitta would be my vote, Groon. Sounds yum. Okay, so if we come back, that one's dark in comparison to that one, right? So it's like I have to come right up there, don't I? Okay, that seems quite dark, doesn't it? What do you think? So that's lighter, that's darker for sure. That one has to be a mid-tone. We won't do it all, we'll just do that part of the trunk there. Nearly pickle, nearly, very nearly. I'm trying to work on that and a um, ten for enchantments one at the same time, very nearly. So I'm just thinking, all these bats we know. That, I'm just gonna do an acrylic black background, right? And I'm going to put in the um, glow around the moon with the white pencil. That would be nice and easy. So anyone that does this and wants to do that, please do that. Ignore that. Um, that's a good thing with acrylic paint. You can just whack it over. Then this needs to be lighter. So maybe we can bring in a light tone first. Maybe we can bring in Bistra. Yeah, she's nearly done. I did all the background the other day. I've just not had a lot of time. And as I said, I had a terrible, terrible headache and I just couldn't focus on anything but I feel alright now they usually come in the mornings okay so let's go for Bistra I know you're super zoomed out but this is just going to be a coat all over and this has to be a mid-tone rather than it can't be as light as that can't be as dark as that so it's going to be more towards this but without the glow, right? So I think we'll do that. So I'll only do this little middle bit because that will go practically over this whole bit up here. This will just be a bit lighter so that will be exactly the same here. So it's just about light source really. So I'm going to avoid that little bat there because they are in pencil. Okay, so that's b -strut. So then... Oh, yes, we've got PDFs. You're just reminding me. There's the other Bohemian Witch, isn't there? Hold on. Bear with me, guys. We'll do this at the end. I've just got my big folder. We'll have a look through that as well. Because I can just put those in my pole. I was just, oopsie, I was just thinking actually about that. You just reminded me, I've got some um, Halloween -y images in there. Okay, I'm going to bring it down a little bit now. So we're in the middle, uh, Van Dyke Brown. And then we'll have a little look through some Halloween, what we can choose. Like, I'm really thinking now. So we've got Jasmine Beckett's got a Halloween book. So think portraits, think portraits. We've got a lot of Halloween PDFs that we'll have a look through as well. I've got lots of PDFs, so I'm going to have to really root. 
but just having a little think uh we have portraits trying to think like you said nocturnes has got the bat the vampire lady hasn't she um you know on the spot it's really hard Joanna yes there is there's Sarah Richard yeah she's got vampire queen hello shell <laughs> oh, that's, you're on Christmas chaos already <gasps> what are you doing Joanna what have you started already is it shopping or your decor No, what I'll do is pick my top nine and I'll put them up in a poll, honey. I promise you, I won't get that. It's just, sometimes it's actually really good to look through your full books because you've got full recommendations then, haven't you? And all your Halloween recommendations. But we're coming up to Halloween and I really would like to get a page done in the next week um, for Halloween, in time for Halloween. So we've got, what, two weeks to Halloween, roughly? So we've got enough time to get one done, haven't we? I think oh wow you're gonna have to show us in a video joanna that sounds amazing you go full out on your decorations don't you okay so then we have to put a little bit of a lighter color so we'll go maybe for some brown ochre okay so we've got to be quite selective on where we want this to go And then we'll maybe go over here in the middle. Yes, Celie. She wants which ones? She does have. Hi, Bea. She does. She does have that. So we'll grab that book as well. We'll have a little look. I just want to put options up on Nepal, though. So we're not going to pick today. We're just getting our ideas on. Because you can also then spark your memories because, you know, sometimes we get stuck and we can sort of sit here and have a look and go, ah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> I do that a lot. And especially if I'm watching people's streams, I go, oh, I forgot I had that book. I like that page. Do you ever do that? I do that all the time. Okay, that's okay. Look away. Right, we're nearly there on this. So, we need our burnt sienna. And then, let's put some of this in there. So we'll blend this with some of the blender. I think we did that on the other bit as well. But we've got to match it up to the other side, but just without the glow. So all this will be a bit darker here, where my hands are, and also over here. Hi, Heather. Okay, so we'll blend out so we don't need to be super neat. I'm going to put some heavy lay down there. We've got, oh, I've missed a branch there. Oh, hold on, guys. This is just part of the other tree where we've just done that dark, so I'm just going to block that in. You know this one? I just, I missed that. So sorry. It's so hard to see when which tree starts and what tree ends. So we're gonna blend that in. Okay, then we need our dark. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, bless her, she's been getting her, her coloring back on. <laughs> okay, so dark is gonna be under here. Let's put some in there. I know it seems like a lot of colors for a tree, but they sort of blend and work well together. And if we put a labor of love in this, then why not? It ends up, as I said, this is going to be black. It's going to be tedious to do that because it's all little bits, but it'll be worth it in the end. So, I won't do that on stream because that's just black background. And then um, I'll glow the moon up just with a bit of white pencil around the moon and blend it out. So you can even do that with a bit of pastel in your fingertip and just rub it out around. Ray! <laughs> so nice to see you, sis. Okay, 
Okay, so we're nearly there. Right, let's go for last colour and then we'll blend that out. So that whole tree will be like that. So let's go for this one. So don't worry about pencil lines. You can blend, blend, blend. Remember, it's just a tree. And you can actually be messy and go over the line if you're going to black it out as well. I mean, I know I'm not, but you could. That's an option. <laughs> okay. Right. So let's see how that would look. Let me get my blender pencil. Let's just blend that out a little bit. So you can use any blender pencil. This is just the Lyris blender. And then see if I need to put any dark, which I do actually underneath here with some black. That will have the bat, so let's get our black. Oh, don't be sorry. I say that all the time. You get here when you can. Or if you even can't, that's life. I never, ever, ever, ever need an apology, lovelies, ever. I say that all the time. The streams are there for fun. If you can join in, it's amazing. If you can't, you watch it back. Your life always comes first, always. Children, dinner, anything that you need to be doing, chores, driving somewhere, that is all part of life. These will always be here. Okay. So obviously that will have the bat. There's bat there. We'll do that after. Okay. So... <clears throat> That whole tree there will be roughly those colours, which is the same as that. If you wanted to put, a, we can put a bit of blood splatter, right? Let me just go off with some cadmium red because, you know, he's been naughty. So we're going to put a bit of blood on here. Because, why not? Even his toes. So remember, this is just um, a bit of red to indicate. He's going to have some blood coming off those little nails because he's terrible. He's ravenous. It's been on a rampage. So let's just make sure we've got them in there. And remember, we did them anyway. And why not? So we've had a, we've had a bit of a time with this guy. And then we had a little bit of a blood. I know. It's terrible. It's been a naught guy. Okay, so we used um, cadmium red for that. Then I'm going to put in a little bit of deep scarlet red. Because it doesn't go neatly, does it? And there's going to be some on this branch here. This is branches. Um, this is a bit of a branch over here as well. So I'm going to have to put some on there. So this is just making sure that the blood is there. There we go. So it's... it's... Oh, take care, Lou. That's okay. Speak soon. Okay. And then our deepest red is dark red. Um, so we've got this going, right? So this is kind of like, yeah, he's a uh, naughty. Okay, so that will be on the deepest part. And then you can actually drip that down. Same here. So we're nearly done on him because we've done five parts now and I've pretty much covered everything. Hi Emily, good to see you. So the, the branches and the tree can have more blood because we don't know what's been eaten. So we'll keep that to our imaginations but there's a bit of blood spilt. So we're just going to keep the blood which has been in the same colours over here. And as I said, don't worry, I'm going to go over that line because we're going to go black on the background. But we we need to use our imagination. There's quite a lot of blood spilt over here. So we'll have some on that tree as well. And this one. So that's what I'll do. I'll keep them with that colour. Thank you, Kenny. We'll keep with the blood splatter just on the trees and the branches because this is by his feet. So we'll keep it over here as well. So remember, like... This part can have a little bit, can't it? So we can have a little bit of blood over here as well. And we'll keep it kind of with the theme of our imagination of what he's been eating. 
some other mythical creature will keep it there. You know, the wolf one. So we'll have it just like in the branches there. So the blood will kind of be like that. Okay, so I know it's, it's a long old time. It is, here's a crime scene. It will be so worth it, Ray. So worth it. Okay, so we have done a lot on this wolf so far. What's the time? Oh, is that all? I thought it was later than that. So we've done quite a lot on him. We've covered practically everything. But as I said, I I'm going to black this out. I'm going to do a black background. I'm going to make the moon glow. But these, this tree here will be the same on this one. And we're going to make sure, you know, with our yellows, so I'm just going to bring you down a little bit. So you know we used these yellows when we were doing it, uh, our moon glow. <laughs> he likes ketchup. We'll keep it there. <laughs> okay, we used light cadmium yellow, we used light chrome yellow, and we used dark Naples ochre. So that is uh, numbers 105, 106, and 184. We used these three, and cream. We used cream as well. And I'm just going to, with my... Um, with my light cadmium yellow, I'm just going to indicate that it's actually going to be on the top here because it is near the moon. Um, so don't worry about going over lines as well. You, should, you need some extra glow. So we're going to keep some glow on that little branch there. And we're just going to keep a tiny bit there because don't forget, it's on his arm anyway. So it will just show you where that goes and just a tiny bit there. So that how we did this one is going to be exactly how we do this one all right so i'm just showing you where i'm going to put the glow <laughs> yeah we could put some chips in there that'll be fun <laughs> got some chips where's the ketchup was everywhere you can dip it on a tree dip a trunk okay so we'll put some on there as well so it's near that blood so that will be where our glow is. Everything else is going to be pretty, you know, standard and dark. Okay, so we've covered pretty much everything. Now, how we did the, the rest of the wolf, where we um, did the neo base and then all of the greys. So we'll carry on with that. We've covered all that. We've covered the trees and the background. The ground. Now, I'm just going to stay with the standard. I think I'm going to keep this as like... A rock um, however I don't want them as a, um, a grey rock you can get brown rocks so I think we're gonna go for that like we would I'll just do one little section here and then we've pretty much then done it as a collective like everything we've done a bit of everything if anyone's coming in recently I don't know if you want to see but I show you again if you've been here with me since the beginning, you'll, you would have seen these. Connie sent these in an email yesterday. Our Connie, CB in the chat here, who's on after me, um, she sent these in email to show me these budgies. And she's done the whole design herself. And aren't these just stunning? And what I would like to do, I'm going to put them on a piece of card and I'm going to put a border around them because I think they're beautiful. And I'm going to put Connie's name at the bottom so that I know that they were a Connie creation. They are gorgeous. So if you've joined us late, these are CB Connie and they are just perfect. I love them. So yeah, I know she doesn't like too many compliments because she's like, no, I'm not. And I'm like, oh my God, you're just amazing. Uh, Connie is CB's coloring craft. She's here in the, in the chat. She's just doing her dinner. <laughs> If anyone has them, there she is, CB's Colouring and Crafts. Doesn't matter, you did all of the rest of it. I would never have known. <laughs> They're beautiful. I love them. Ah, They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're stunning. Okay, let's go for, um, let's go for burnt or brown. Brown, brown. There's Connie's channel. Honey's colouring and crafts and you've made me want to buy which I don't need but now I want to the new Ruby Charms um, book I think that means swatching all over again but it's amazing Connie just put an upload of the new Ruby Charms swatch book if you're interested in seeing that as well so 
I think I need to neo base this. What do you think? Should we neo base this? It's too much to do. Let's get our neos out. Let's grab our neos. Hold on. It's too much to do with just pencil. Let's grab a neo. <laughs> Ow. I said that. It doesn't work out. <laughs> Yeah, let's get our Neo on. I can't be doing that with just pencils. That will take forever and a year. <sighs> oh, so sorry. Okay, Neo time. Let's get our board and our cloth and our brush. Is my, yeah, we've got it fully done. All right. So if you want to know, I love and always use them, the Artasia. This was before that they asked me to join as an affiliate. I just love these anyway. So if you always ask for my recommendations in a water brush, it's going to be the Artesia ones. I've not actually tried the Caran Dash ones, so I can't give you my opinion on them. But these are amazing. Okay, so we need something earthy. Let's go for earthy. So it's the second tray that we need. Um, this one, can you see all the earthy tones? Let's go for an earthy tone. Okay. So we'll do one side only for now. Because otherwise it would be too much. Just, let's pick first. Oh, yum, yum. Okay. Let's go maybe for some of the um, English red. So let me show you. So this one is... Can you see that one? That one's English red. Uh, we maybe need a little bit more of an ochre tone, so maybe we're going to go for some raw sienna. That one. So we need like a, I like a red rock. We will put some grey in there as well, I think. Um, we'll put a little bit of a darker brown. So let's go for some a Van Dyke brown. As long as you've got it in your screens. So we'll mix them and we'll do some of this. And then maybe if I want to add in a pinch of grey, we will go for, hmm, maybe we'll add some beige rather than grey. Let's add some beige. Okay. So I'm going to put quite a large amount of that because that's going to be the lighter colour that I can just block in. Whoops, there we go. Okay, let's see what we can do with those and then we'll um, come back. If I do, what's this one? This one looks good. I like this colour. Okay, brown, let's put some brown in. So if you can see that, it's really quite a dark brown, so. Right, there are our colours on our board. Just have to put these out of the way and let's go for some, um, let's go for some, oops, basing on our ground part. So we'll do this section down here. Right, are you with me? Yeah. Just making sure that you're with me on the screen. Oh, what are you refraining from purchasing? What's happening? I've missed it. <laughs> put some, um, because it's on the edge, put a little bit of paper down. Is there a downside to it, Connie? Sorry, I missed someone put it in big caps okay are you okay you're going to show it in stream all right so let's go for first off i'm going to go for that beige um it would have been too much to start this with a let's go all over with our beige because we can add in after as well so my brush is me I'd say medium weight. It's not like saturated, but it's got a decent amount of water on it. But this beigey colour first, because we can dot and add in and mix in and add up other colours. So let's go for this on the bottom. So beige all over. And just, you know, this hasn't got to be neat, this part. Ground is like all over the place anyway, isn't it? So let's add 
this first. Right, as I'm coming away, I'm going to add a bit of brown in with the beige. I'm going to start to make it a little bit deeper here. I'm going to wipe off a little bit and just sort of blend that outwards. So I'm being quick because... Now my brush is going a bit drier. Sorry, I'm not in chat for a second. Oh, okay. <gasps> I was going to say, oh no. It looked amazing. The only thing is that I think we'll be using a lot of the blank charts, Connie, because we've got so many different sets of pencils that aren't in there. Like, we don't have access to some of those pencil sets because obviously it's a lot of US-based. So those of us in the UK, it's a little bit like, oh no, some of them are missing. But that doesn't matter. Okay, so... We're going to come to the top here. I need a bit more water in my brush. I'm going to squeeze some down. And I'm going to come to that Venetian red as well and just blend that in and make a little bit of a, a mixture. Now, I'm going to start to add in like a, a browny, earthy tone. And blend outwards and as I come down I'm going to blend back up just so like you get a, a mid-tone we're going to go in with pencils but we've got our base going now so over here as well I need a bit deeper so I'm going to go straight in with brown again okay so hold on let's put some there come to my mix again Blend downwards, I'm going to wipe off and blend. And then as I come down. Right, I'm going to get some of that mid-tone, which is the raw sienna. Just blend that out. This is just our base to help us. Oh, really, Zeely? I wonder how much that will be, though, because that's quite steep shipping as well. Okay, so I'm going to grab some of that colour. Add some more Venetian in there. Okay. So we've got a nice mix of colours now. Those sort of red rock tones. We might put some greys in. But as I said, this is just a base. It gives us something to work off, doesn't it? I'm going to come down to our dark and add that back in. Okay, so be very, very cautious about your paper because if you oversaturate, it will just start to like bubble and peel up, and that's not my intentions at all. So, we're gonna remember this is gonna be black up here. Okay, so we've got a nice base on its way, it's looking a bit more earthy, right? Okay, let's go for some more of the Venetian and add that in there as well. Okay, sorry, I'm not looking. That's okay. But the thought of having to swatch everything out again, I was just referring to the Ruby Charm swatch. It's like, oh, do I really want to do that again? But then to be honest, the book is so good, it makes you feel like you want to. Um, does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to come over to my... See, that will be a bit lighter. So our darkest points are going to come into our lightest points. So I'm going to come again, just dab in. That's a bit dry now. Wipe off. So that part there will be dark. This part here will have a bit of a deeper colour as well. We've got to put blood there still as well. Okay, so that's getting that like a base. Okay, if you see how it's going to look in like general we'll put some pencils over it as well but we've got our base going okay let's get some more of that just brown some more brown just be mindful about paper that's it Okay, so that's got a good amount going. Let's bring in, just dab it in a minute. 
Let's bring some of that in. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. I do enjoy it sometimes, I must admit. Quite a lot of people do find it quite relaxing to swatch. I'm dependent on that. Sometimes I do, if I want to keep my hands busy but I don't feel like colouring, swatching can actually come in a little bit handy. But then when I've got so many pencil sets, the thought of having to swatch them out again, it's like, do I really want to put myself through that? However, it's such a really beautifully put together book, it kind of makes you want to. So, I don't know. It kind of, I'm on the fence at the moment. That's why I've not gone ahead and like bought it. I was about to, and then I thought, oh, but even like the designs in it are really, really nice. So, okay, let me dry this off. <laughs> Hi, you Robin, if I didn't see you. Um, that's the thing, it is quite a lot, isn't it? I mean, a lot of us do have a lot of pencil sets, so it would be quite long. Okay, guys, two minutes. Let me just go get myself a drink. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll finish off the bottom of this. So bear with and I'll be right back.
Okay, so sorry, I was grabbing a drink and grabbing the books whilst I was there because we can have a quick flip. Um, the Jasmine Beckett, I'm pretty sure there is something in there, I don't know. Um, these two, and I remembered we got the Dark Fantasy Special as well. And I've got my PDF, so we'll have a quick look at those in a minute. Because who doesn't love looking through stuff? I certainly do. Hiya Marilyn, hi anyone coming on in. Happy, what are we on? Tuesday. I told you, I'm, I'm a confused bubble at the moment. Where was I at? Ground. And do you know that it's almost dry now? So we'll start here because that's actually gone dry. Uh, so we needed some of the browns, didn't we? Um, I think there's like a 15 second delay on the screen. Pretty sure there is like a 15 second delay. So if you hear me, I said that 15 seconds ago. It's crazy how it does it. I don't know why it's so behind half the time. <laughs> Am I back on your screens, guys? Just making sure. Oh, it's turned the music off. So sorry. Hold on. Is it up to speed, Andrew? Stop. Just making sure. Okay. Music should be off now. Okay, that's fine. Right, okay. I was making sure. Because <laughs> my screen's showing me something completely different. <laughs> I just switched the music off, so sorry. Okay, let's go for some brown ochre. Let's just, we're not going to do too much of this. It doesn't need it because the black background, anyway, will make it all stand out. Um, okay, brown ochre. Ah, <laughs> yeah, it was a bit loud, so sorry. Okay, I'm going to go for this bit. And I'm not even going to bother going to the highest point on that because it's going to be darker. But this is nice and dry already and that's because I didn't use a ton of water. But you can dry it with a heat gun just to be on the you know safe side. But whilst I grabbed the books and a drink. Ah. <laughs> that's okay. Sometimes my screen shows that I'm not around and I'm like oh no is that what you guys can see. But obviously my screen is just playing a lot of tricks on me. Okay, so I'm only going to come lightly with this one, and I mean like ridiculously light. Oh, what do we say, Lozzy? What do we say? Super duper, and that just will give me a little bit of colour, but not too much, so it blends outwards, and it's in that horrible little bit that I hate. Like on any book, that is the bit I hate is going into that gap. Hi Nana, how's your granddaughter? Okay, then I'm going to pick up Burnt Sienna because we're going to come darker for a minute because I can um, get another colour and just blend that all out which is going to be probably a grey. So let's go for some Burnt Sienna. Let's go for some on here. Again, darkest areas. Make sure your page is dry. nice light coating. I don't need to do too much on this because it's just some ground. I'm not going to spend hours on ground. <laughs> Super duper duper. And then we're going to put some blood in there anyway. So we're going to make sure that the bits where we've put some um, of the darker colours are going to have the burnt sienna. And then this part as well. So all those extra little dark areas that we've done, we're just going to add to it because your neo colours already done that for you. So and then 
our little rocks you can add some extras in if you want to I'm tiny up to you I'm gonna put some over here as well okay and then I'm gonna grab another one which is Van Dyke Brown and on the side of my pencil so I'm holding it like that so I'm just gonna bring you over here like there for a minute I'm just on the side of my pencil I'm gonna add some texture because it's ground and the ground is never just flat it's always got some texture and that's why I like to leave it Oh gosh, you got lots to still get unboxed then. Lots and lots. You'll get there, Helly. You'll get there. It's a lot when you move, but yeah. One bit at a time, it knackers you out as well. Like, you can feel completely shattered when you're doing stuff. Especially boxes. Okay. I'm going to add some extra stones. Just some little tiny extras. Alright, then I'm going to grab my, um, without coming here a second, we'll come over there in a minute. We're going to get some dark reds. You know we put the bits of blood. We're just going to have a little bit extra coming off of his little talons there. I could pull on that one, because that one's a little bit on the bloody side. So these are just the reds that I've been using the whole time, which was um, 219 and 225. So he's had a little bit of a bad time on that one. Ah, oh, thank you. It's a bit different for me, this one, isn't it? <laughs> but you know what? It was all coming together really well. So we've only got the last bits to do. Okay, and then here, I need a warm grey. So I'm going to go for warm grey free. And then we're going to come out and we're going to look what it looks like. And then we're going to have a quick flip and get some inspiration for some of our choices on the t on the pile. Ketchup, Sam, ketchup. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go for some warm grey three. And I'm literally going to join it off of the brown. So you know like it had that beige colour, that was kind of like this. So, hold on, let's come off of that. You can also do this in like distress inks and then you know if you're confident with those and bring your pencil off for that as well. So that brings it back to that beige colour which is really like a grey. I'm just going to blend that into all those browns. I'm going to bring in some few extras and that'll be quite cool and then the next page will have the same so if we come out that will pretty much be how that goes and then as I said forget the red it's going to be black so I will finish that in my own time now so we've pretty much covered everything now haven't we we've covered how that will be that will be the same this tree this one is the colours that we've just done there. The wolfie we've pretty much done. These will be exactly how we did that. We've done the bats, we've done the birds, and the black background is just, just exactly that. So I'll finish him in my own time. I've got three pages on the go. I'll try and get him done, though, as soon as possible. And I'll put him up on the um, thumbnail, and I'll put him up over on Instagram. But he is pretty cool. I mean, I'm happy with how he's come out. I mean, his face is oops has come alive so he is pretty cool and all those greys and browns have worked together really well he's been a labour of love a double page on a stream it is a feat because it's one of those things that I know is going to be a huge amount of uploads or streams especially when we do other stuff at the same time but I'm really happy with how he looks in general how the ground how the the tree how the moon will look 
I might add some extra blood, I'll wait and see, but if I do, it has to be on an object, not on the background, unless I put it in red pencil over the black acrylic. But he's fun. He's a fun one, and he's definitely one for Halloween. Okay. Thank you. He's, he's funky. He's a funky, funky guy who likes ketchup. So, yeah, I am liking that. So, that will be it on this one. I'm not coming back to this one anymore because I've covered everything. I oh, know it happens. It goes so quick, Kenny. Right, very quickly, let's have a little bit of a look. So, if you're like me and you get stuck and you're looking at sort of Halloween inspiration, I've just looking and I think because I want to do a portrait. Um, I think these have got some. I'm not sure. I'll have a look. And then we've obviously got our, our Jasmine Beckett's. Now, Jasmine Beckett's got a whole Halloween book. Um, so, I mean, there's lots and lots of pictures in here. So many. Thank you. But there is lots in here. I've always loved this one. Um, but I'll put these up in the polls. Oh, were you? Hi, Q, if Q's there. Or is it, are you with Q or was it on the phone? <laughs> Did your Kanuku come, KP? Oh, she's fantastic as well, but I really want to do a portrait. So, we did that in Pan Pastels. I love this one. Cat's just done this one as well. Um... I'm still doing that one. I've still got another copy of this anyway. So there is lots in here. If you are a fan of her work, I did that years ago. You know I did this when I almost first started colouring. Um, gosh, when it first came out, I would I did skin so differently. I did that with mum. This was a mum buddy colour. Again, a long time ago. Probably about three years ago now. But I love these pages. She's funky, I love her as well. Loved that one. I love this one. She's not we st I still did do you remember I did this the vampire skin um a long time ago now? So that's Jasmine. There is lots, I've got PDFs, but there's some in her original book. Um so that you know this is the we did this one on stream. Oh, thank you, Natalie. Take care. Oh, okay. I thought he was there. I was going to say hi. <laughs> um, some, like this one could be very Halloween-ish because she's in like a church. You know, she's like a gargoyle, isn't she? She's got gargoyle wings. Is she a gargoyle? She lives in a cathedral. She has grey swirling hair, striking grey eyes and wings made out of stone. Um, so hold on, we'll look for another one that could be, uh, look, we've got the, the witch, but I think this has been done on online by somebody. We've got this lady here, there's so many, look, you've got Glenda, Glinda and the Wicked Witch. This one's very much a Halloween theme. I think she depicts a lot of her art quite gothic as, as well, she takes a lot of inspiration from sort of Halloween and gothic. So... I'm just looking through um, this first book of hers. You could do quite a few of them. Yeah, Stone Wings, Princess of Bones. Um, there's quite a lot in here that could be. This one, Sign of Our Parting. Um, it's an Ad Edgar Allan Poe. This one's a very Halloweenish one as well. And then that could be even like a bat. And then we have a look through, let's have a quick look, because this could have a couple. I mean, you've got bats in here. And then you have, uh, I know there's one in here. I mean that, you know, we've got the snake Medusa type of lady. And then we have, Oh, that's a cathedral type. Um, that could. Thank you, 
you, Robin. Thank you, Ruthie. I love this one so much. We've got this lady. She's like a vampire. She's got all the bats behind her. You have... I'm just trying to look through. We've got lots of pictures, but we have to pick one. We don't have to pick one today. I'm going to put it up in a poll. Then we have the Dark Fantasy Special, which is by Ennis Guerrero. Now, this is very Halloweenish. the entire book. It's got a lot of Halloween themed. It's like a... Look, you've got so much going on. And she's got very Halloween themed drawings and inspiration from pretty much every gothic towel you can imagine and witchy towel. So this is another... This is a diamond painting now. This is another one that, you know, has got a lot of Halloween theme. This one's gorgeous. Very witchy, lots to do. So that's another book, if you've not seen this. I've done quite a few of her witches. I really wanted to do the coven idea. I don't think there is any in here. I watched the first two episodes and I'm not sure what I think about it yet, um, KP. But Jensen's going in it, so I have to get up to date. Right, this could be quite Halloween themed because I could do that quite dark. You know. You can think of that being like a Halloween. I've got lots of PDFs and I'll go through them, you know, in my own time and post. I've got quite a few whips in here. But I don't think there's anything else. No, not in that one. Okay. Then we have some PDFs. Um, and then I'm going to bid farewell. I'm just giving you an, just a little feel. This was a lot of Spooktober and, and other images as well. Hold on. So we got... Oops. We go to our... Sorry about the glare for a second. This one I love. There's two here. So this is Matt Davidson. I love this one. And I've also got this lady here. So they're both a Matt Davidson art. Both witches. These are gorgeous. These are Matt. I've got these on the go though. This is a Matt Davidson one with the ghosts. Then you've got the Haunted Mansion vibes in this one. You've got the ghosts in the... Uh, let me come up a little bit more. You've got the ghosts in... <laughs> Yeah, this is only some. We've got Kelly O'Gorman's. So I'm still doing this one on strings. We've got Colour and Chicks. We've got Monia Gates. We've got Emily. My lovely Emily. We've got her lovely pumpkin. I think you've done this completely on stream, right? And this one. Um, we've got Colour and Chicks. We've got more. I love this one so much. Right, this was one that I really, really loved. Um, so I bought this pack for this because it's just so fun. It's so fun. You just love her. She's got so much detail. <laughs> She's amazing. I loved her. I just laughed at her as soon as I saw her. I was like, "She's fantastic." So we've got more colour and chicks. More colour and chicks. Cheryl Lafond. I'm not going to do this one. Um, Karen Valentine's done the best job on that. Ennis Guerrero. Uh, Genovia Art, our lovely Jennifer Zimmerman, Monia Gates, I think someone's doing this one, it's like the clown, Christine Karen, Belinda's done this one and then you have this one at the side, they're both Matt Davidson, they're all from Spooktober, so they're still available, the candy which is another one from Matt that I just love, so the other two that I showed you earlier, they are two favourites and the candy witches as well. So she's got all these candies, she's got candy corn type of um, milkshake, she's got a pumpkin, I'm going to say that's like a, an apple, you know one of those um, toffee apples, you can make that. She's got a waffle hat, she's got candy at the side, she's just so fun. So she's another one that I absolutely loved and it's probably going to be in one of those... Um, choices and then I don't know if I've got any more in here that would represent Halloween I've got to look through my other 
PDF. Oh, we've got Bat Cat, who's quite Halloween-y. <laughs> so this is a Jeff Haney's, but he is not a portrait. But he is fun. If you want to go check him out, go check him out. I'm going to put nine on there, and you guys choose, plus you tell me the media. So it won't be too bad. And then there's things like The Witches by Roz. Um, so these are quite dark, very Inktoberish. But she's got a lot of witches as well. But there's not lots to colour on these ones because of the heavy, heavy line art. So I might pick a couple, but I have lots of PDFs. Um, so I've got other PDFs in my other folder, which we can have a look at. And I'll put nine options. A nine options. Yes, I've got some Hannah Lynn's. Hold on. So if you wanted to see Hannah Lynn, so these are Patreon images though. I've got, you've got the Hall Halloween one, but I have some of her Patreon images as well. <laughs> They're fun. So that's the um, candy one. We've got a witchy brew one and we've got this one. I've also printed off her newest one, but we've got Halloween, Hall Halloween images by um, Hannah Lynn. That's a lot on the mouth. Hannah Lynn Halloween. Try and say that quickly. So there's lots on there. Although I'll have a good look and I'll choose my top nine. So, my loves, I'm going to bid farewell. I can't believe it's been over two hours. I never thought I'd be on for over two hours today. I honestly thought it'd be quicker than that. But this is where we ended up and he is done. He is. The only things I've got to do is just finish off what I've showed you. So that is quite a big mission. I'm hoping, I, I'm going to, put two posts up on the community one i want to know streamers it's a call out to streamers times stream days and just to so i know i can put a timetable together with shannon um because i know she's doing one as well and i'll put an i need an official something so i don't you know end up overlapping but i really would like to do if i can this week if not next week an extra stream because I think if we get Halloween images on the way and on the go, we can get something done. So we'll we'll roll with what time allows us and, and overlapping allows us. Misfits! KP, where is my head? I'll have to have a look through there as well. Ah, uh, thank you, lovelies. Okay, so thank you so much for all your... Oh, do you want to see where I'm at? Quickly with my diamond painting before I go. Ah, I forgot to show you. <gasps> How dare I? <laughs> okay, so I'm doing the night, oh, the Nightmare Before Christmas one from Diamond Art Club. So I've come quite far on this. Um, so this is the Jack and Sally one, and it's quite large. But if you could see the colours on this, it's incredible. So it's like a Look at the colours on this diamond painting. It is, isn't it glorious? So I'm going to roll it up as I go along so you can see it. So this is the diamond painting of Jack and Sally. And it, isn't it gorgeous? So it's very sparkly. So I'm on the last bit now. This is the bottom. And these are the last bottom sections. Um, so it's gorgeous, isn't it? So if you want... <laughs> A really funky and nice diamond painting to work on go for diamond art club every time they are so good it's just the colors of this is amazing it's, isn't it it's so hard to get it all on stream because I'm at the table but if I had it on the floor you'd be able to see it isn't it gorgeous love it so much so definitely one to have a look at okay i'll put that back in your screens thank you so much everyone it's so hard to get everything on the camera i'll see you on saturday for sure please look out on my community tab i'll put up a poll you choose which halloween portrait you want me to do i'll put nine nine up <laughs> so it's like a nine grid I'll number them, put the number of which you want and put the pencil of which you want me to use, or medium. Yes, I remember. <laughs> oh, in, is it one you've done recently? I can't remember actually. Who did the one of Jack and Sally? Oh, it was um, 
Jen reading my pug, so I remember now. Thank you so much for your company, everyone. I had a wonderful couple of hours with you. I'll see you on Saturday. The community tab is go to my channel. At the top, you'll see videos about community. Community. Tap on that, you'll see it. It's like a notification. <laughs> All right, then, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much. I'll see you on Saturday. See you Saturday, but I'll see you around in other streams. Connie is up in 40 minutes, so CB's Colouring and Craft. Lots of love to you, lots of hugs, and I'll see you then. Take care, everyone. Bye.